The next step in my how-to writing is to combine all my pieces together. So I need my steps that have my transition words in them, my introduction, and my closing. I'm going to combine all of these together into one draft so that I am ready to revise and edit. So we're going to combine all this together in a draft and you can do this in your writing notebook. If you don't have a writing notebook, you can also just do it on loose leaf paper. So I start by writing my title up at the top. So my title is how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. When I begin writing, I'm going to be writing a paragraph and so I need to start by indenting my paragraph. And to indent, it's a two finger space over from the side of your paper. So my introduction says, doesn't a peanut butter and jelly sandwich sound delicious? So I'm gonna do a two finger space and then I'm going to start writing my sentence. Then when I'm ready to come to the next line, I'm gonna come all the way back over to the red line. But because this is a draft, I'm going to skip every other line so that way when I'm revising and editing, I have room to come back in and make those changes. So doesn't a peanut butter and jelly sandwich Now I'm going to keep writing my next sentence in my introduction and I'm just going to continue right after this sentence in order to form my paragraph. Now that I've finished my introduction, I'm going to move on to the steps of my how-to. So I'm going to start a new paragraph for my steps. So I'm going to go down to my next line and I'm going to indent again. Now you may notice that I'm out of room on this piece of paper, so I'm going to go to a new piece of paper. But if you still have room, you can keep writing on this piece of paper. Now let's start on my steps. So I'm going to start the new paragraph and I'm going to indent and I'm going to start with my first step. So it says, first use a knife to spread peanut butter on one piece of bread. After my first step, I'm going to continue with my second step in the same paragraph, so right after my first sentence, and I'm going to do that with all of my steps. If I run out of room on this page, I'm going to just continue my sentence onto my next page. Because I'm continuing my sentence, I don't need to indent because I'm still in my same paragraph. Now I'm on to my closing, and my closing is going to be my final paragraph. So for this, I'm going to go and start a new line and indent one more time to show that this is a new paragraph. So I'll start with, are you ready to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Now you are finished writing your draft. Tomorrow, we're gonna to work on revising and editing it. 